Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. How was your day? Oh, it's the same. Totally the same. <laughs> yeah. Very hard. Very hard. And it was a. Uh, 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 cansado. How do you say can, uh, uh, cansado in English? Yes. Um, tiring. Tired, tired, tired. Tiring. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was tiring, and but everything good. Okay, good. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes that happens, right? We we get really tired. Lots of things that happen during the day. But um, thank you for connecting, even though um, I know sometimes it's not easy. So thank you very much for that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Um, and um, Jorge, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are um, you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? How are you? Good, how good. You? Uh, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Um, how was your day? Um, good, good. Uh, I had a good day. Um, I went to work. Um, for me, it was a productive day. Oh, wow, that's great. Why? Yeah. Why? Do you, why do you consider it was productive? Because um, I conclude. Um, uh, how do you say concluir in English? Finished. 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 Uh, I finished um, some reports, um, mm -hmm. and I up today. Some projects. And you what today? Uh, uh, um, up today, um, actualizar. Oh, oh. El día. okay, okay. Um, all right, so you um, updated. Updated. Updated, yeah. Updated, okay, yeah. <clears throat> um. Okay, that's great. That's really, really good. Yeah, you're right. It, then in that case, it was very productive. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Okay, very yeah, good. Thank you. All right. Hello, Sara. Welcome. Sara Rachel. Hello, Tisha. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Good, good. Thank you. Um... How was your day today? My day, I was uh, with a uh, 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 more or much work with a lot, a lot of work. A lot, a lot work. Um, uh, I am a uh, uh, I'm hot. You you what? I am a hot the oh thing. you are... sorry del clima ah uh -huh. yeah the weather is hot yes I I am or I weather in this uh, this place place hot is hot oh yeah oh how much what what is the weather like right now. What is the uh, weather like? What what what's the temperature? Um, the the weather is hot. Yeah. What is right the, now the temperature? Is 20, 24, 24. 24. I don't know, yeah. teacher. I don't know. 
24 Sara. 24 about Arnold. miss about uh -huh. the news about the news is uh around of oh, 20 28 24 28 I am used and the uh, hot and uh, mm -hmm. evening in the and uh midday uh mediodía midday 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 okay midday uh -huh. or noon uh, around around uh, 24 28 uh, about the news oh okay it's not I too bad feel hot <laughs> yeah or, or may it, where where do you live Sarah? Uh, in San Jose Guayabal, Department, Cuscatlán. Mm. Maybe, yeah, I think it's a little hotter there, right? I think I think the weather is a little hotter in that area. Right? Right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, prob probably that's why. Yeah, okay. And 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 um Carlos, what where are you located? Where, where are you located? Uh I live in, in San Marcos, San Marcos and Salvador. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. So maybe yeah. that that's kind of the difference. What? Sorry. Maybe that's the difference of the temperature. Because mm. you live in San Marcos and she lives in and, yes, uh, mm -hmm. the weather the word uh, here in San Marcos is a uh, uh, I don't remember how how do you say it's uh, fresco. It's um it's cool. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Mm. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah but okay. but but uh, this uh, the last day. Uh, the day was uh, the day we were uh, hot, very hot. Eh, Los días estuvieron. It was it was real. Uh huh. It was very hot. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. That it's been really really hot. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. The the weather is around the world. It's crazy. It's just super crazy in this part of the world um the, the winter doesn't want to go away um it's it's been cold um sometimes at night it's been like nine degrees and um and uh also um it's been like very windy and rainy so yeah it, around the world it's just all crazy and then for example i was talking to a friend of mine that is from canada and right now canada the cities in canada are the most polluted the most uh contaminated cities from the air quality because there are so many forest fires because it's so dry uh, right now it's supposed to be um not so hot it's supposed to be like like maybe 10 15 degrees and it's like 30 degrees so um it's very dry and there's a lot of forest fires do you, do you know forest fires? Forest fires, incendios. Uh huh. Incendios. Forestales. Forestales, yeah. Forestales, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, where do you live, teacher? Where do you live? Oh, um, well, in this moment. I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's just, um, I don't actually, I technically don't live here, um, but I'm, to, uh, like normally I um I, I I live well actually so right now I'm I'm living a few weeks away from my from my my con from where I normally live uh right now in this moment I'm in Georgia, Georgia. but 
Yeah, Georgia, but not Georgia, United States. I'm talking about Georgia, the, the country. Do, country. do you know? Yeah, you know Georgia, the no. country? No. Yes, it's no. in Europa, European, European, right? Right? Yeah, technically speaking, it's actually <laughs> um, Asia. Um, it's 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 a country between Turkey and Russia. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah, I get it. are closer, very close to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so I'll I'll show you. I'll show you a map, so you guys can. Kind of get a better miss, idea. Yeah, Miss, I, I, I thought that you living in in, in Salvador. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me too. Me too. You <laughs> you you speak very 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 uh, very well, very excellent your Spanish. <laughs> oh yeah, no. The thing is that I I I recently moved here. I recently moved. So this is Georgia. You guys, can you guys see this? Oh my God. Next to Russia. Yeah. 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 So, okay, so this is Turkey, Armenia, um, Azerbaijan, Russia, and this is Georgia. Okay. This is the capital of Georgia. Um, in Spanish, you say uh, Tifilis, and in, and, uh, in Georgian, it's uh, Tbilisi. What is, what is the language in, in Georgia? Georgian. Georgia, and do you can you speak? No, no, <laughs> only English. Uh, yeah, only English. Um, eh, yeah, the, so I, I only know a few words in, in Georgian, just enough to get me around. But a lot of people, a, a lot of people speak a bit of English here, not you know, um, not a lot, but a bit of English, especially the younger generations. So usually you need to communicate. You just look for somebody that looks very young and they usually speak English. So this is where I, I am yeah. right now in this moment, but actually my home is not in Georgia. It's actually in Turkey. So I'm, I'm living. Yeah, yeah. So I'm living in Turkey right now, but I'm temporarily in Georgia. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> Yeah. And um, and what what's the time right now? Right now it's six in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah. You wake up early. Yeah, but actually not so much because Georgia is um one hour ahead of Turkey. So um so right um, now my class is at six in the morning. When I'm in when I'm at home in Turkey, because I live in Istanbul um when i'm uh, at home it's one hour before so i wake up at five in the morning so that's even worse <laughs> yeah. so so right now it's not i don't feel it's that bad i because when before uh, before the pandemic i used to have classes in the morning in Sephora classes in the morning and um it was exactly at six in the morning so I, I was, yeah, in the six in the morning, from, <laughs> from six to eight, I used to have classes. This is pre-pandemic. So pre -pandemic. yeah, pre-pandemic. So right before the, the, the pandemic started, um, before I used to work, um, I used to have um, INSA for classes, but it was in the morning. And it was worse because I had to travel. It was in person before remember that before the pandemic we didn't have very many online classes so um they were they were on online and um <clears throat> i had to travel a very early in the morning to get to work at six in the morning so waking up a little before six is not a big deal for me i'm that's normal <laughs> yeah so it, it's okay it's not a problem. Yeah. Teacher, are, are you Salvadoran? Yeah. Well, uh, well, yes and no. <laughs> I mean, yes and no. Um, I mean, I am, I am, you know, I am Salvadoran, 
but I was, I was, I'm actually, I'm originally from like my, okay. My background is Salvadoran. So my family is from El Salvador, yeah. but um, I was, I was raised in Canada. Ah, okay. okay? So I, I was raised in Canada. Then when I was, a, when I was an adult, I moved to El Salvador. So I lived in El Salvador for a few years. And then I recently moved to Turkey. And now I'm temporarily living in Georgia. So it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how do you have uh, an Salvador number? <clears throat> Oh, wow. because I was I was living in El Salvador. Yes. I, I I just recently moved to, to Turkey. Uh, like, what is like, your what is your native language? Is is Spanish or English? English. English. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So, so I like English is yeah. It's pretty much my first language, and at home with my fam with my my parents, I learned Spanish. You know, we would speak at home Spanish. And then when I, I moved to El Salvador, I spoke Spanish, but my Spanish is not very good. I, I was breaking up. I was not fluent at all. I would say funny things. <laughs> it was very funny. Um, uh, then, you know, I started talking every day and then it got better. Then I got fluent. Um, so... And I lived there for many, 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 many years. Um, so then it was like, okay, completely uh, bilingual. And now I'm learning Turkish. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, a little bit of her. Yeah. How, how do you language do you, do you, do you learn? Or do you can speak? Um, can Mm, well, okay, so I'm fluent in both English and Spanish. Um, I know it's French, but I can't speak it. Like I could, like I used to know it before, but I haven't practiced French for such a long time that I've I've kind of forgotten it. So now I can I can understand French. Like I can read French. I can hear it, understand it, but I can't speak it very much anymore. And I definitely can't write it. I, I've forgotten French, how to write French. Um, so I, I don't consider that I know it very much anymore. I just kind of, yeah, I know half of it, I guess. And right now I'm learning Turkish. So, Turkish. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Like Turkish, I mean, I'm not good at Turkish, but you know, I can defend myself, you know, I, I can go out and I can buy and I can, and I can communicate more or less with people. So, yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning though. It's, it's because, you know, it's a very, very different language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's life. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But I can tell you, I can confirm that when you learn English, when you know English, it takes you so far. You can okay. do so much when you know English. You can, I mean, English is literally the international language. It, you know English, you can travel anywhere in the world. Um, yeah. you're always going to find someone that speaks English. Actually, uh, uh, to be very honest, after I learned Turkish, I would like to learn Russian. Russian. <laughs> yeah, Russian. Because Russian. I have... Russian. Russian, yeah. Because I have learned, being here, I have learned that Russian is actually one of the languages that most people speak in this area because many of the countries here are ex-Soviet Union countries. 
So people that are of different nationalities, they all know a bit of, uh, of Russian. So they speak Russian among themselves. So I have many, many friends that they're from. Okay, I have people, I have friends that are from, um, you know, a, you, the Ukraine. I have uh, friends that are from Russia, people, friends that are from Azerbaijan, uh, friends that are from Tajikistan, friends that are from um, a, Uzbekistan. Uh, I have uh, friends that are from, um, well, all over the place, basically, people that are Georgian. And they all communicate with each other in Russian. All of them. Russian. Yeah, all of them are, uh, are they speak in Russian because they are ex-Soviet Union countries. So they they know a bit, uh, like it's it's part of their, their culture to know a, a bit of Russian. So I've, I've learned that in this part of the world, Russian is a, a country that, is, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, Russian is a, is a language that is international in this part of the world. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you know English and you know uh, Spanish and you know Russian, woo, you really can communicate with like the whole world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I completely accord, uh, I, uh, agree with uh, with you, Miss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's important. It's important that uh, we. We learn, we learn uh, Eng English because it's the, for the around the world is is important because it has a second language and the uh, and the world mm -hmm. according to the according to the uh, read read or or whatever and and uh, the listeners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's important. yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. So I know it's hard sometimes to have discipline. I know that sometimes you just want to give up and say, oh, it's too much. I'm 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 done. I'm fed with up, fed up with it. But if I'm if you don't give up and you continue at it you will thank yourself later and say, wow, I'm so happy I didn't give up because now I have this tool, this tool that is opening up doors for me. You know, many times um, you do something because you have a, a something in mind, a, a goal in mind, to give you an example. Many of you probably are learning English because you want to um, you want to expand your knowledge uh, and get a better job or a better position or a better pay at your job right now, okay. which is good, which is excellent, and you know, and I encourage you for that. But you never know if your English you're going to be using it more than just at your work. Maybe that's going to open up an opportunity to other things that are much bigger than you expected, that you anticipated. Yeah, yeah, yeah? you're right. Yeah. To, to give you an example, just to give you an example, and, and this, this is not in terms of English, but for me, when I... When I got my certification for uh, 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 to to work with Insafort, I never, never expected that I was going to be um, using my certification for bigger purposes. You know, for me, it was just like I was expanding my 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 horizons. I was. At work, I was going to be able to have more opportunities. And, and it did. It did open many opportunities for me. But now I can see the bigger picture. Because if you notice, I just told you, I'm 
on the other side of the world and I'm working still, you know, like I was in El Salvador. I I, I continue working. I I have this uh, online job. I, I would never have thought that I was going to be working online to begin with. You know, before the pandemic, that was not I I that was not even an option. But you know, the pandemic just opened up so many different doors for the world, and so. Now, thanks to my certification that I, I got uh, within Saforb, I'm now able to do this and work online and work from the other side of the world. And, 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 and nothing has really changed. It's almost as if I haven't left El Salvador at all. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So sometimes you do something for a specific reason. And because you think that that's going to open doors for you and it does, but sometimes it opens bigger doors than you possibly ha could have ever imagined. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you what I'm yeah. Saying? So, Good motivation. Good motivation. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, don't give up. Don't give up. I know it's hard. I know. And I know how difficult it is to learn a language um, you know, I'm, I'm learning Turkish myself and, and it's not easy. It really isn't, uh, you know, and, and sometimes they're like, sometimes you feel overwhelmed. Sometimes you're like, oh, you know, this is just too much. I'm never going to understand this. But, you know, if you're just, somebody once told me, you know, that I have a friend that um, she, she's Turkish, but she was raised, I think. Sweden, I think it was. She was, I think she was raised in Sweden. And so then she moved, like as an adult, she moved back to Turkey. She's like, so she is originally from Turkey, her family is from Turkey. And but she was raised in, in Sweden. And she learned Turkish when she came back to, to, to Turkey. And she told me, you know what? Don't be discouraged. Um one day. Like right now you feel that you're not understanding anything, but one day it's just gonna go click. It's like you turned off a switch and then everything, oh, it made sense. It was like, oh, like like literally like, like you switched on the light and you're like, ah, now it yeah. makes sense. Okay, and I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that because it gives me hope. <laughs> you know, and 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 it's true. I, I think I think she's right. It hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm hoping that it does very soon. You know, you just have to expose yourself. You know, so so yeah. you pat it, yeah. guys. Thank you, thank thank you, teacher, for mm -hmm. for sharing your experience. Um, personally, I I get more more motivation. Mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah yeah thank you thank you yeah oh for sure we know thank you miss uh, we know we know that we can do it but uh i think uh little by little but uh it's passion it's a little passion yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah you you gotta be you, you gotta be um what's the word um you gotta be patient with yourself and that, that's patient. sometimes, yeah, patient. patient. Um, sometimes uh, I think we forget that we need to be patient with ourselves, you know, um, and we want to do it now and we want to have it now. We got to be patient. It's going to come. Just, just be patient. Okay. Um, your teacher is going to be patient with you. I'm going to be patient with you. But you've got to be patient with yourself too. Okay. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Well, after that that talk, <laughs> we, we call that in English a pep talk. Do you, you guys know? Have you ever heard that pep talk? Yeah. Yeah. I I listen. They talk about learning another language. Um. One. One person no uh, can speak five five language 
um, English, Spanish, uh, Russian, um, Portuguese. I don't know what, what, I don't remember what is the other, but he says um, we, we must to be uh, uh, como meternos de lleno en aprender el, el idioma, como tirarnos al agua. Y, uh -huh. y no tener miedo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, vamos a fallar, y, pero la cosa uh -huh. es ser constante. Exactly. You're in, my case, in my case, me, in my case, me is, uh, I have a, I have a friend. Uh -huh. uh, he, uh, uh, he, talk, he, he speak, he speak, uh, he speaks uh, three language. Uh, it's Portuguese, uh, English, Spanish. And also, he learn. He he is learning in this moment. He's learning a uh, Korean language. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yeah, it's 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 polyglot. <laughs> it's yeah, poly it's yeah. Polyglot. Uh, yeah, and uh, he told me. He told me that uh, I. Uh, I I have a, a little passion myself to myself uh, and uh, speak and, and uh, uh, I must try to uh, speak mm -hmm. uh, speak uh, and, and uh, uh, to, uh, also try to um, listen listen uh, listen uh, very uh, minucious minucioso uh, for the and para entender to so language uh, to into uh, the English, right? Sorry, the last part I didn't understand very well. Could you repeat that? Ah, uh, the I said I said uh he uh, he told me he told me he told me that I I had to a little passion for myself when when. I speak when I when when I hable. When I speak, when I try to understand the others, when they, they speak English, yeah, uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's um definitely you you've got to like I said, uh, be patient with yourself. And um, yeah, you, you you also have to lose that fear of making mistakes because you are going to make mistakes. That's that's inevitable. You you can't go around it. Like it's impossible, impossible to learn a language unless you're willing to make mistakes. That's that's like like saying that you 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 ex like you expect a baby to learn how to walk without falling. Is that logical? Yes. Is that realistic that you're that a baby is going to learn how to walk without falling? No. No. Of course not. Of course not. You would never ever expect a baby it doesn't matter how intelligent the baby is. That's, there's no way. Of course the baby's going to fall. And he's not going to fall once and not going to fall twice or three or four or five times. He or she is going to fall many, many, many times. That's okay. The baby gets up and tries again. And one day the baby gets balanced you know, and then, okay, it starts getting a little stable and then starts walking and boom, falls again. And then gets up, gets a little more stable and little by little, they start getting a little more stable. And then finally, yeah, they're able to walk and then they can run. But first they need to be able to stand up and be stable. And that's sometimes 
what we need to do. We need to be, we need to um, understand that at first when you're learning a language, it's like that. It's like you're standing up and you're trying to be stable and you're trying to find a ground where you're like, okay, a boom, and you fall. And that's okay. As long as you get up. It, the problem, the problem is when you don't get up. The problem is like when you say, oh, this is too hard, I give up, and pff, you let it go. Then that, that's the problem. No. That's the problem. So yeah, you're gonna make mistakes, but you gotta you gotta get over that fear. You gotta go over that fear. You're gonna the make babies, a lot of the baby then for the first time, uh the first time they crawl and mm -hmm. the second and the second one uh Walking and uh, the last time uh, one is that hmm. is the logic. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You can't you can't expect to run without first learning to be stable. You can't. So be patient with yourself. Yeah, you're gonna. Teacher, teacher, <clears throat> teacher, can you? Do you think that uh, in Actually, you still learn learning English. Um, y actualmente considera que sigue aprendiendo inglés. Me refiero a no absolutely, sé, o sea, absolutely, yes, absolutely, yes. yes. Um, nobody knows a language one hundred percent. Nobody. Okay. You, you, everybody continues learning. Everybody. And I'm going, I'm going to say this in Spanish just because I want everybody to understand 100%. Um, <clears throat> su idioma natal es el español. Pero no me dejen mentir que cuando ustedes están, por ejemplo, leyendo el periódico, por ejemplo, de repente aparece una palabra que ustedes no sabían. Y ustedes dicen, ¿y eso qué es? Y, el, y, la, bus y la buscan. Y dicen, ah, ok, perfecto. Hoy oh, sí, ya aprendí una nueva palabra. It's the same with the English. Yes. Yeah, of course. So, of course, everybody, everybody continues learning a language. There is, you never stop learning a language. I... I actually, okay, English is my native language. It's my first language. It's the language that my brain thinks uh, first. It's the language of my heart. And um, I have been teaching English for 18 years, okay? So I, I, you know, it's been a while. I've been I've been teaching English for for a while, and you know I've taught every level of English from level one to TOEFL. I've I've taught it all, and I still continue learning. I still every day I continue learning, and you know what? In these in the four courses, I have learned so much because as time goes by. In you will notice that the the level of of the a better said every time goes that um, each level goes by in in the in sub four courses it gets more detailed like right now it's kind of like general knowledge but then it starts being more detailed for certain areas of work so you end up learning uh, like um, a jargon you guys know what jargon is. Jargon is um, like technical language. Okay, so you start learning jargon. Actually, um, during the pandemic and right before I left El Salvador, I was also working as a medical interpreter. So um, I was I was interpreting for for doctors and nurses and patients. And wow, I learned so much in that job. I was like, wow, you know, because 
you just you learn so much things that you never imagined possible and um yeah so of course you're always learning and you have to be willing to learn to be able to um master something you just think about it nobody 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 becomes a master without starting from square one o sea, todos los expertos en cualquier materia, en cualquier área, han tenido que empezar de cero. Nadie llegó a ser maestro de algo, un perito en algo, sin haber empezado de cero. Ya, ya sabiendo todo. You so, got me. <laughs> so, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Is this true? Okay. Is it yeah. true? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, true. So, yeah, so, true. Yeah, I completely so, agree with you. So you guys can make it. You're going to do it. You just have to go at it. Be consistent. Be, be, be disciplined. Be consistent. Be determined. If you know what you want in life, If you know why you're learning English, if you have a specific reason, keep at it, okay? Have that focus and say, okay, this is where I want to go. I'm going to have setbacks and that's okay. Um, I, maybe I'm not going to get there where I, I want to be right now or in the moment that I want to be. But that's okay, as long as I continue moving. Yeah? Of course. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay. So the, now that's definitely a, 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 um, a pep talk. <laughs> pep talks are just like motivational talks. Okay. So there you go. You got your pep talk for, for, this, for this module. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So uh, having said that, I need to start taking attendance. Okay, so let's start with that. Okay, we'll start with Ana Victoria Galan. Ana Victoria Galan. Hello. Ana Victoria Galán. Necesito, eh, chicos, necesito que aunque estén conectados. Ok, perfect, excellent. Eh, ¿Hay manera de que encienda su cámara solo para la asistencia? Ok, thank you, thank you, Ana Victoria. Ok, chicos, necesito, um, eso sí les voy a pedir, que um, independiente sea cuál sea la situación si ustedes pueden por lo menos eh, contestar vea que si sí están presentes y encender sus cámaras para tomar asistencia porque sí uh, es parte de los requisitos ok Asalia Melanie por ti right. wonderful good evening uh, Carlos Alberto Orrego I'm here miss Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Elisier Dimas. I hear me. Wonderful, thank you very much. Denise Alejandra Sonica. Present. Okay, wonderful, thank you very much. Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Edita Adilia Hernandez. Edith Adilia Hernandez. Not here? No, she doesn't seem to be connected. Okay, uh, Emerson Adiel Reyes. Emerson. No, okay. Uh, Ismael Bo eh, Ernest Boyat. Good evening, teacher, I'm here. Wonderful, thank you very much. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Great, excellent, thank you. Marlon Daniel Miranda Landa Verde. Marlon Daniel Miranda Landa Verde. 
Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Eh, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, Raquel, solo so tengo una, una inquietud. Su, no, su segundo nombre se escribe HT o TH? TH. Ah, ok. Error de dedo. Ok, sí. ok. So, so, sí. <ríe> Solo, no, no está bien, es que en la lista aparece con TH, entonces yo dije, ¿cuál de los dos será el, la, la correcta? Ok. TH. Right. Sí. Ok, wonderful. Um, Sandra Ivette Mendoza. Teacher, present in here. Wonderful, thank you very much. Sara Rachel Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Beautiful, thank you very much. Uh, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. And finally, Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, thank you very much. We're now going to start. Sorry, guys, I just wanted to let you know, um, I, I'm aware that some of you have sent me messages in the WhatsApp. I haven't had a chance to check them just yet. So if I haven't read your message, just give me a chance. Um, I will read it at some moment. Um, but just, yeah, I, right now, I, I, I'm going to continue with the class and then I'll read it, okay? Okay. Okay, so you guys can see this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, please. Very beautiful. Okay, so uh, this is the course English for Work program, day number six. The date is Tuesday, May twenty third, two thousand twenty three. And your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. So let's start uh, with um, what we do all the time, which is remind you how you can ask for help, right? If I ask you any questions, you can say, excuse me, can you repeat that? Can you speak more slowly? How do you spell? What's the answer for number four? How do you say in English? Whoops, sorry. What does mm mean? Like, so completing what the word in English. And how do you pronounce this word? Okay, so I will gladly help you. Just make sure that, um, that you ask me in English. And I will do my best to be able to to answer. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this. these two words. Personnel versus personal, okay? So two different words. Personnel, personnel, personal. The, the two words have three syllables. Okay, so I'm gonna write it down. I'm actually gonna write it down. Personnel and personal. Okay, so per so sonel. Per so. No, so all of the, both words have two, three syllables, okay? But we pronounce it differently. So this is, this one is personnel, personnel. This is person, personal, personal, okay? Do we, do we see the difference? Do we hear the difference? 
Yeah. So everybody repeat after yes. me. Personnel. 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 Right. Very good. Personnel. The other one is personal. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So, which word means belonging to a particular person? Personal, sorry, personnel or personal? Mm, I which think word? personal. Okay, thank you, Jorge. What about the rest of you? Do you agree with Jorge? Or do you have another idea? Personal. Agree. You agree? Yes. I'm agree. Agree. You agree? Good. Exactly. So this one means belonging to a particular person. So my personal belongings. My personal belongings, mis pertenencias personales, right? So these are things that belong to me, okay? Or this is a personal secret. So this secret is about my person, okay? That belongs to me, okay? Um, personal profile. It's a profile that belongs to me. Now, which word means people who work for a company? Personnel. It's the personnel. Right. This is the personnel. 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 Okay. All right. So how, uh, so do you know all the personnel in your company? Do you no. know all? Of no? <laughs> no. Some some com some companies maybe, because maybe they're small. They're a small company. But um, other companies are very big and you may not know all the company. Okay. No. In my company, there there are very uh, many uh, personnel. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because for example, I I a personnel operation personnel, mm -hmm. and the other uh, the other coworker, for example, and the administrative personnel and the cleaning personnel. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Administrative. 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 Yeah. The administrative yes. personnel and the maintenance personnel. Maintenance. Yeah. The maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. maintenance personnel. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Some companies have a very, very big personnel. Yeah. Another word for personnel we can say is staff. Okay, staff. so you may have heard of this word and I'll write it in the chat, staff. Okay. Okay, so if you hear the word staff, it refers to all the people that work in a company. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So what I want you to do now is I want you to look at these words that we have, uh, sorry, these sentences that we have here. And I want you to decide which is the most appropriate word, personnel or personal. Personnel or personal. So uh, you could do this individually. Okay. So I'll give you a few minutes to figure this one out on your own. Okay, so go ahead. You can write the answers in your notebook. Or if you guys have um, have uh, printed the manual, you can do that as well.
regard miss great excellent Are you almost done? Everybody? I'm done, teacher. Yeah? Done. Okay. 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 So, can we check? Can we check everybody? Yes? Okay. Yes or no, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. So who is responsible for the at the plant? Personnel. 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 Very good. Okay. What does the market manager have? Sorry, does the market ma sorry, uh, let me start again. Does the marketing manager have a personal 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 assistant? Personal. Personal assistant. Personal. 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 It's necessary to train more personnel. Personal. Personnel for the personnel. high season. Personnel. Yeah, personnel for the high season. Please do not bring your personnel. 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 The personal problems of the office. The of the workshop need need new uniforms. Personnel. 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 <clears throat> personnel. The other one is personal. The stress is on the first syllable. That's the mm -hmm. other. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. Um, I forgot to mention this that um, the other difference, the other big big, big difference is um apart from the fact that at the end is one is nil and the other one is null is the fact that this one the first one personnel 
we, we put the stress on the uh, on the last level personnel and in this one it's personal so we put the stress on the first level okay okay any questions so far it's your personal yeah. is is the people personnel are the people yes people if personal is the 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 person particular the particular the, the yeah, per personnel comes from that it belongs a team. to a person, to a specific person. Person, personal. Okay. Yeah. Pers personal, yeah. Okay. Any questions so far? No. No questions. No. Okay. So, uh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, so now that we've got that done and over with, um, okay. So ING forms after prepositions review. Okay. Do you remember that yesterday we were doing a review of infinitives? Well, today we're going to do uh, a review of the ING forms. Or what was the other name for ING forms? Who remembers? Jaron. Jaron. Jarons, very good. So I wrote in the in the chat there. So yeah. ing forms or gerunds, and I explained to you that I I personally prefer to use the word gerunds because it's this is it's more specific. Ing form is kind of more generalized. So, but the book uses ing form. Okay, so what we're gonna do here? We have use the words in the box to write sentences about your responsibilities at work. So you're going to say be in charge of, be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible for, be accountable for. So I'll give you an example. This is only an example. Oh, sorry. This is only an example of, um, for example, um oh, sorry. Hey guys. This thing is moving on me. Come on. Okay, there it is. Oh. Okay, now I'm sorry. Okay, perfect. All right, um, so just to give an example, um, we can say, I, okay, at work, I am in charge of the accounting. Or, let's say, it, but, Better yet, I can say, at work, I am in charge, uh, sorry, in charge of um, checking, oops, checking the accounting. an example and preferably i mean the two forms are correct but preferably we want to be using the second one why because the second one after oops after in in charge of we're using the ing form Okay, 
So remember after in charge of, be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible for, be accountable for, we can use either a noun or if the, we have a verb, it has to be in the ing form. Oops. Okay. Do we understand? Yeah, we uh, we uh, we always uh, we always put uh, the the bear uh, ing bear uh, before the I don't know the uh, the other words. Uh, for example, the coding the. The, I don't know, for example, the uh, whatever the stuff, a coding operation, checking the, no, 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 uh, checking the, blah, 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 checking the, oh, the other verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, um, uh, yeah, so you can write anything, um, anything at all. Just make sure that after these these um, these verbs, we use an ing form, okay? But write for yourself individually, okay? So I'm gonna give you some a chance there to to write. We must we must we must put the action before the the order word. Uh, for example, the coding the. The, the 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 personal for the personal personnel of the of company uh, yeah you can write about the personnel of the company too yes it's not just pers it's just not it's not just personal sentences but it just you know in general things things that are about the responsibilities at work. So you can talk about your boss, you can talk about um, your coworkers, anybody at work, at your workplace. So please, please write down the information in your notebook, because um, as I've mentioned in the past, if we just kind of have it in our head, later we forget. Okay, so uh, try to write in, in your notebook or wherever it is that you want to write.
you guys can ask me any questions if you want, like any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation. Okay, are you finished? Yes. Anybody need more time? Yes, miss. You need more yes, time? I need, um, yes, I, I need more time. Okay, no problem. Time. No problem. Saba. Miss, sorry, this. Yeah, no problem. Uh, um, how do you say? Oh no. Uh, how do you say herramientas in in English? Herramienta. Tools. Sorry. Tools. 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 Yeah. Yeah. How do you how do you spell that? How do you spell? Sure, that I'll write word? in the chat. There you go. Tools.
Okay, are you guys finished? Yes, miss. Yes, yes, miss. Yeah, okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to put you guys um, in breakout rooms and you're gonna share your sentences with your classmates, okay? Um, Carlos Eliezer Dimas, are you there? Hey, hi, Miss. I'm here. Oh, okay, wonderful. Edith Alvilia. Sorry, uh, Edith, I can't hear you. Are you there? Oh, there she is. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galan, are you there? Ana Victoria Galán. Yeah, Raquel Elizabeth, are you there? Raquel Elizabeth, are you there? Okay. Um Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> just a second. Okay. Um, so you're going to be sharing your sentences with your classmates. Okay. So I'm opening the rooms right now. Con el, con el ING. With ING. With ING. Um, I don't know if, if, I don't know if somebody finished. Yeah. I can start and maybe... Once I can start, I I think I I did understand the task. <laughs> uh, yeah, number one, uh, what do you write in the not... I I can't I can't hear you, Carlos. Um, in the the number one. Uh... Ah. What do you write? Uh, we uh, with the uh, being charged off. Yes. I didn't do the, the first one because she gave an example. <laughs> I didn't. I only did the in the pile two to five. <laughs> en la página 18. I don't know. <laughs> you have to use the ING form with the five the five sentences that she he, she gave us. Uh, but uh, um The the for for me the number one is the being charge of uh, for you I don't know is the uh, the the chat who is responsible for the uh, the client this is 
Eh, no, yes. Sorry, sorry uh, Sergio uh, Chamorro and Raquel Elizabeth and Carlos, if you could just please uh, make sure that you open up your, your camera. You need to have the cameras on. Thank you. Raquel, are you there? Raquel Elizabeth? Okay, all right, Con continue, no problem. Okay. With, the, with the first one? With my coworkers, with my coworkers, we are dedicated to bring supplies. And the next questions, at work, I'm responsible for the payment. And the last, we are accountable for the cash management. Anja. Yeah. Okay. About you, okay. Sandra. Give me, give me a one moment, please. Okay. Okay. Ana Victoria, did you finish? No, <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I know that you speak. Estoy trabajando en campo, perdón. Don't worry. Okay, I know. Okay, the last one is in my case, I'm, I am contable to uh, recording to, I don't know, I don't know. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Can I try to express the, the, the other, <laughs> the other way? <laughs> don't worry. Sandra, do you need help? I don't remember the one. The sorry, the question. I try to to write the answer. No, no, number one, um, it is not because it is answers. Number two is committee two. Be committed to. Committed to, um, I think is comprometido. Oh. Yes. For example, in my in my case, um, I commute to um, so, it's not delivered. It's give give um reports about the production and. I countable for the payments of the production. Okay, okay. Very important. Yes. Yeah. What about dedicated to? In this moment, I I am in a trucks from six. What is that? Transition 
Yes, let, let me check. Transcriptions. Transition. Ah, okay. Transition. Transition. Uh, because I start, I. At work, at work, I, I am the responsible for okay. of the department and to receive all donation. Okay. Number four. Number four. responsibility for Yan. <laughs> what can I do? Perdón. Okay, number four, be, be responsible for Yes. Okay. Okay. Be responsible for providing good service to all our customers via contour form. Okay. 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 In my case, I am responsible for the prints of the planes for the projects. I'm responsible for uh, the personnel in my department. And I'm responsible for um, the review, review the, the, I don't know how, how it says correction, corrections of the planes. Okay. Um, at work, I am be accountable for preparing daily and monthly reports for the department. Okay. Okay. Finish number five. Yes. Okay. Be accountable for. <laughs> yes. I see um, Edith Avila. Hello. At the work. No, hay una compañera, Edith Avila. Edith, Edith Avila. No, sí. Okay, everybody, um, any questions? Um, no. No, so we understand how to, to make the sentences with the gerund or with the ing form? No. 
No, miss. No, miss. My case, no. No? No questions? No. Okay. Okay, in that case, um, we're going to um, continue, guys. Can you see my PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask individual people to give me sentences here. So let's start with Sandra Ivet. Can you tell me the first one? Be in charge of? In the case, be in charge in my, um, I in charge of uh, area of the payments. Sorry, okay. Can you repeat that? You said I'm in charge of? I in charge of the payments. Okay, good, excellent. I'm in charge of the payments. And grammatically speaking, great, perfect. Now, how would you say that using a gerund or the ing form? Can you repeat the game? Please. Okay, you Doing? said I am in charge of the the payments. You said, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Doing, can can you see? So how can you change that sentence so that we can use the ing form? Uh, ah, okay. Uh, let me let me remember. We want to emphasize here the ing form. Um, for this week, I, I charge you of the payments. Okay, for this week, I am in charge of, we need a verb in the ING form. I'm in charge of? Uh, doing payments? That could be a possibility, yes. Mm -hmm. Sandra, can you, can you give me another possibility? Mm, this week, I, so I'm going to write it down so you can see it. Sometimes it's it's better if we can visualize it. So um, this week, I am in charge, I'm oh, sorry, in charge of, and then we need a verb in the ing. Um, collaborating. Hmm? Collaborating. 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 Sure. Collaborating with what? Payments. Collaborating with what? In the payments. Payments. Collaborating with the payments. Okay. Okay. Collaborating but... with the payments. Okay, good. All right. So she said collaborating. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> um, now, be committed to. Um, Asalia, can you give me a sentence with be committed to? My company teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. At core, I am be committed to serve donors with great that and and keenness. Okay, Azali, could you repeat that again? I'm committed to, to what? Serve, serve donuts. 
I'm committed to serve. 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 Serve what? Serve. No, server, no, because we need ing for. Serve. So serve Okay, ing form. What's the ing form of serve? Okay, so bye. <clears throat> to make this easier for you, we need to have a verb plus ing. To serve. Yes, exactly. Very good. So I'm committed to serving. Okay, serving. yes, we need to have ing. So I'm committed to serving. What? What was the rest of the sentence? Donor suite. Donors. With great. With. With great. Great what? Yes. Great what? Con gran que. That. That and. Um, Kindness. With ki great kindness. Kindness, Asalia. Kindness. Yes, yes. very good. Yes, okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I'm committed to serving donors with great kindness. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Carlos, dedicated, be dedicated to. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, you're right. I, I wasn't specific. Carlos Elicer. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I write that I am dedicated to learning English every day. Very good. I am dedicated to learning English every day. Excellent. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Okay. Very good. So here, right, right here, we have the ING form. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. Diana, Jamila, could you give me one for be responsible for? No, I mean, yes, Diana. Mm -hmm. okay. Be responsible for uh, be responsible uh, for for being for being good service to our, our customer, be accountable, accountable for. Okay, can you can you begin from can you start the sentence again? Diana Jamile, can you can you start from the beginning again? Okay, what's the subject? I need a subject to begin with. Who's doing the action? I, you, he, she, we. Okay. She, okay, so she. She what? If for providing good service. Okay, she, ella, she. que. What, what goes after she? Okay, Diana? Be responsible for. So she is very good. Thank you. Excellent. She is responsible. Very good. Excellent. Responsible for for what? Service. Okay. We we need a verb in the ing. Okay, so we need something like this. 
We need something like this. So she's responsible for what? For Billy. For, for Billy. Very good. Okay. Excellent. So she's responsible for billing. Billing what? Billing or customer. For billing customers. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very, very good. Bravo. Okay. And the last one. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Sarah Chell, can you help me with the last one, Sarah? Be accountable Hello, for. Teacher. Hello, Sarah. Yes, mm -hmm. I can hear you. I am responsible. Res I am accountable. Gorkin. I am accountable. Okay, I am accountable. For working. For working. Aha, uh -huh. very good. For working what? Every day. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> okay, you have to yes, yes. You, you you have to be a little more specific because work like accountable means that like usted tiene que rendir cuentas de algo. No is responsible, accountable. Uh, yes, but it, it, it's more than just responsibility. It's the que usted es el responsable, por lo tanto, tiene que rendir cuentas. Eso significa. Uh, but is, is good this uh, sentence. I am accountable for working. Yes, but working, I need more details porque no puedes, usted no puede decir, yo soy, uh, yo rindo cuentas por trabajar. Mm. Necesito más información ahí. Sí, sí, o sea, técnicamente podemos utilizarlo, pero necesita más información para completar esa idea. So I'm accountable for working, or if you want, you can change the idea. Mm. Uh, maybe about the the puesto del puesto, podría ser, or no? Uh, I'm responsible for working. Or if you want, let's change working because maybe that's not going to work for you. So I'm accountable for mm, for in other words, tengo que rendir cuentas por por qué? So we we need, we need we need something plus an ing. Um, I am comfortable for. I have an idea, teacher. <laughs> Come on, think of it. I, I will. You have time. I'm accountable for. What are you accountable for? But it's can... possible. I am comfortable for working at night. Porque es algo que voy a hacer. Voy a dar cuenta de mi trabajo en, en específico. Mm. O de, pero, or de, es que, pero eso es que usted re, tiene que rendir cuentas de algo. No, o sea, trabajar, no, uno no rinde cuentas de trabajar. Tiene que rendir cuentas de algo en particular. O sea, en el trabajo. O sea, ya, ya, ya se sabe que si está trabajando, está, tiene que trabajar, ¿verdad? O sea, eso okay. ya es, es, es algo... O sea, ya, ya, 
ya suponemos de que si tiene que trabajar, tiene, va, va a trabajar, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿de qué va a rendir cuentas? Mm, ok. Ok, Sara, ¿qué do you do en your job? What, what is your job? Tell me a little bit about your job. I, I am called assistant the customer service. Okay, so you solve people's problems. Yes, I like am the customer's problems. We fit them in the system. Yes. Okay, so we can use that that solve. So I am accountable for. We can use the verb solve. Solventar. Solventing. Solventing. Solving. Solving. Yes. Solving. Yes, I'm accountable for solving. The problems. Which problems? Which problems? No, which, cuáles, cuáles problemas? And solving uh, with system or um, the, the Gmail. Okay, how about if we make it a, a little easier, customer's problems. Los problemas de los clientes. Customer's uh, problems. Mm, yes, so we can maybe. say customers, sorry, customers problems. Uh, yes. Does that work? Uh, yes. Yes? I am. Yes. I am accountable for solving customers problems. Yes? Yes. Okay. Do, do you understand how to make the sentence, Sara? Do you understand why we need to say, I'm accountable for solving? Solving? Yes, I am clear. Yeah, okay. All yes. right, very good. Yo soy responsable de solventar los problemas del cliente. <clears throat> yes, pero más que solo responsable, es como yo tengo que rendir cuentas de eso. Okay. Okay. O sea, sí soy responsable, pero además de ser responsable, tengo que rendir esas cuentas. Ok. Ok. O sea, si yo no solvento el problema del cliente, yo tengo que rendir cuenta a, a, mi, a mi jefe por no haber solventado el problema del cliente. Es more responsible. Right. That's, yeah, exactly. So responsible, this is... This is one, the one. But accountable is more than just responsible. It's more, it's more yeah. responsible. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. It's okay. Not more specific. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it? Yes? Okay. Perfect. All right. And so we're going to clear this. Okay. Now, I have some questions here. Do you often attend seminars? Do you know seminars? Capacitaciones? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very similar. Yeah, seminars are, but mm, yeah, so seminars are like trainings, but um, more, trainings. more it's like lectures. Those are like seminars. Uh, so yeah. Okay. More? Yeah. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? How do usually, how do you usually break the ice? So when you say break the ice, what do you mean break the ice? Romper el hielo. Romper el hielo. So how do you usually break the ice? Like make people feel more friendly to talk to each other. So how do you 
how do you, when you're socializing in those events or, or in other events, how do you usually break the ice? How are you able to make people feel more comfortable talking to each other? Do we understand those questions? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Talking about the widow. Okay. It, right now, um, we're going to um uh, we're going to put you into breakout rooms. Um picture. Yeah. Can you put on the picture in it, please? Actually, I'm going to send it to you. I'm gonna send you the questions in the WhatsApp group. Sounds good? Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Um, can you guys see the questions right now? I just sent them. Yes, teacher. I yeah. <clears throat> wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put you guys into breakout rooms so you can discuss these questions. Okay, here we go. Um we go. Let's open the rooms. Do you understand the questions? Diana? No. No, a menudo no. No sé cómo es. How you said a menudo. Ah, okay, okay. But do you understand the questions? Okay. Yeah, in my case, we don't often attend seminars. Mm -hmm. The other question is, but Asalia, yes, do you yes, have... Yes, do you, do you, huh? yes, I do. Yes, yes. I, I suppose that, yeah, yeah. Because it's just an ONG. Okay, the other question is, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Yes, I do. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I don't have uh, mm, uh, for for years no assist the uh, seminars. Okay. Mm -hmm. In your job, no invite to seminars. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um. It is easy for you to so socialize, socialize at those events? Socialize. 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 I am so sorry. Um, in my case, uh, sometimes yes and sometimes no, <laughs> it depends on the... it depends of the day of the month. <laughs> of the moon, of the moon, <laughs> of the moon. <laughs> okay. I also so. I think it depends on the how do you say animals. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, we have a problem. Uh -huh. uh, the audio that the Belma is no. Um, no funciona. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. It doesn't work. Vilma, um, you can't hear it? Ahora ya. Ya entré con el otro celular. Ok. Este no me... Sorry. Uh, ahorita. Pero ahorita, ahorita, le, le, ahorita escucho por el eco que se, se... No, pero ya lo cerré la otra sesión. Ya solo está tengo. Ah, porque sí, sí porque ya, no lo he escuchado. Inicio la Uh, the question is for Sergio. <laughs> yes, Sergio. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm, I'm social. I, it depends, depends. Depends. It depends, it depends on uh, the, the tema. The depend, um, uh, topic? Topic, thank you. Depends on the topic, yeah. Um, yeah, I should sell. I should sell. Well, well, the, the, oh, I the think people. they send to me. You send to me. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, but it, but uh, socializing, socializing with the English, social socializing with the English is is very is socializing. Is, no, no, no. Socialize. It, socialize. socialize. Socializing. Socializing. How do you say? How do you say? Si yo quiero decir, es difícil para mí. It's difficult for me. It's difficult for me. Oh. Okay. It's oh, okay. Can, can, can we say? Uh, can I say, Miss? Uh, it's very hard for me. Yeah. You can say that. Too. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Thank no you. No problem. Hard. Say hard for me. Hard. Okay, all right, guys and girls, uh, we're gonna continue with this um, topic tomorrow, but I need to take attendance beforehand. So please help me um, by opening up your microphones when I call your name, okay? So Ana Victoria, Galan. Ana Victoria Galan. Uh, Asalia Melani Portillo. Teacher, Ana Victoria. Teacher, I, I don't have char charge for myself. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Victoria. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Asalia Melani. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Um, I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Carlos. Bye Alicia. everyone. Bye everyone. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carlos Alicer. <laughs> I hear me. Thank you. Denise Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Diana Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, if you want, you can you can stay, Diana, uh, for our one-on-one session, okay, after the class.
Okay. Um, Edith Adilia Hernandez. Edith Adilia, no. Uh, Emerson Adiel. Emerson Adiel Reyes. Uh, Ismael Ernesto Goyat. Present teacher, y okay. Edith puso que tenía problemas con el internet. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, and um, Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Um, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you. Ra Sandra Yvette Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Sara Rachel Salazar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present, teacher. Excellent. And Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Present. Okay, wonderful. Okay, guys, and that, and that will be all for today. So I'm just going to stay with Diana Jamilet. And that's it. I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Hey, see you Don't, tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Don't forget to make sure you do the the platform. Okay. No. Okay, teacher. Stay good. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night, Sandra. Hello, Diana. Hello, Tisha. How are you? Oh, good, good. Okay. Um. It's so. Any questions? Um. Any problems that you're having right now? Yes. Is is the people speak? for me to understand uh, every time by uh, trying okay. to pass it to. It's mm -hmm. difficult for what, did you say? Uh, participate. Participate. Pero, uh -huh, participate. Okay. Pero, pero ahí vamos. Okay, no uh, problem. Poco a poco. <laughs> Lo importante es que no se dé por vencida. Ya no o sé. Sea, eh, siempre, como, de, como hablábamos al principio de la clase, va a ser un reto. Cualquier cosa eh, que queramos aprender eh, va a ser reto, un reto al principio. Eh, y los retos son buenos. Porque así podemos nosotros ir uh, probándonos a, a nosotros mismos cuánto podemos lograr, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, eh, no se preocupe, que si es un reto al principio, entre más usted lo hace, más se le va a hacer más fácil. Sí. ¿Ok? Pero no, no se le traiga porque dice, ah, pero es que no sé cómo decirlo, no sé cómo pronunciarlo, me voy a equivocar, se van a reír. No, no, que no eso no le, no le retraiga, porque para empezar, que todos aquí estamos aprendiendo, y me incluyo, ¿ok? Entonces, no hay nadie aquí que lo sepa todo. Entonces, si usted se equivoca, pues, eso es normal, ¿verdad? Y segundo, que... Um, es la única forma de poder aprender el lanzarse el agua. Es como, no, es como literalmente, o sea, no se puede aprender a nadar al menos que se nade. Igual no se va a poder aprender a, a, a hablar inglés al menos que hable inglés. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Eh, yo sé que a veces, también a veces está, eh, influye en nuestra personalidad. ¿verdad? Sí, porque sí, siempre he sido un poco tímida, pero ajá, esto es lo que más me, cost, me costaría quizás vencer. Uh -huh. Ajá, para participar mucho más. Uh -huh. Y le entiendo. Uh -huh. 
quizás, quizás no me crea, pero yo de hecho soy bastante tímida al principio cuando yo conozco a alguien. Así que le entiendo, le entiendo. No es fácil, pero um, al final es muy gratificante cuando uno logra vencer un obstáculo. ¿verdad? Entonces, um, póngase, póngase esa meta de tratar de vencer esa timidez no solo en la clase, sino que en su vida diaria. Entonces, uh, trate de, de exponerse a situaciones que la van a sacar fuera de su, eh, de su zona de confort. Uh -huh. Para que cuando se exponga a esas situaciones, no se sienta tan desanimada porque va a ser algo que ya usted va a ir familiarizándose. Dice, ah, sí, sí, esto, sí, me cuesta, pero ya lo he logrado en el pasado, yo sé que lo puedo lograr ahora. Sí, correcto, sí, de hecho, hace como cinco años atrás, cuando tuve mi primer bebé, empecé a las clases de inglés, pero presenciales siempre. Ajá, llegué hasta el nivel 6 para Ajá. pasar al, al segundo principiante, pero igual, o sea, todo eso hace cinco años atrás ya se me olvidó. Todavía tengo unas, un material todavía que en ese momento lo adquirí y lo hice y ya lo encontré y lo, y lo estoy volviendo a repasar. Por, como por, por ejemplo, este, me puse la meta de aprenderme todos los verbos irregulares Ajá. y me acuerdo que los escribí en un en un pedazo de cartón, aquí los tengo, mm. ajá, entonces lo puse del, del lado frontal, la palabra dream, uh -huh. y si yo me acordaba, lo repetía y, ve, y veía en la parte de atrás si esa era, y así. Excelente, muy bien, ajá. excelente. Así, ajá. Esa técnica, pero igual si sí cuesta, porque como es, como se dice, todo requiere una fuerza. Exacto. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Y siente usted que eso le ayudó? Sí, sí, de hecho, pues lo he estado repasando y aparte de los de lo, la mitad, quizás, como son como 50, quizás 25 o 20 tengo que me acuerdo y otros 20 que no, que no me acordaba. Sí. Ajá, pero sí. Qué bueno, la felicito, porque de hecho esa es una de las técnicas que yo les digo a mis alumnos que pueden implementar. Es una técnica muy simple, pero ayuda muchísimo. Y lo que más me gusta de esa técnica es de que pues, es una técnica que se puede utilizar eh, en cualquier parte. Si usted, puede, usted lo puede llevar esos, esas tarjetitas consigo en su, eh, en su billetera y las puede ir sacando en cualquier momento. Usted está en el bus eh, y, y va repasando, ¿verdad? Eh, está haciendo cola en el banco. Sí. Que usted sabe que en los bancos así como que a veces hasta una hora, hora y media, dos horas ahí esperando. Sí. Y, y, y ahí está que uno hace un nada, pero, pero si usted lo tiene consigo, sí. lo saca y, 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 y hace algo productivo. O está esperando cupo ahí eh, en, en el seguro o lo que sea. Entonces, eh, uh -huh. que es, es, es algo muy, 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 es, muy eficaz. Así que la felicito por eso. Sí, y, y qué bien que usted lo ha sacado y dice, ah, sí, esto ya me, me voy acordando. Y es que el cerebro es así. El cerebro hace conexiones. Entonces, esas conexiones a veces, um, se, se, cuando uno deja de hacer algo, se desconectan. Pero como ya el cerebro ya hizo esa conexión anteriormente, entonces, la, cuando lo hace otra vez, es más rápido. Y, se, y, y esa conexión, oh, sí, rapidito se, se crea esa conexión. Entonces, eh, excelente. La felicito, la felicito. Sí, sí, ahí vamos poco a poco, porque sí, es una meta que había dejado, pero ahora la quiero terminar. Muy bien, la felicito de veras. Muy bien. Eh, ¿Y hay alguna otra cosa con la que yo le pueda ayudar, con la que yo le pueda apoyar? Um, bueno, alguna técnica, porque también este, 
me, me cuesta mucho memorizar los números todavía. Los números. Entonces, sí, ajá, esa técnica de los verbos la encontré, ¿verdad? La estoy aplicando, pero para los, los números también. Me ok. Cuesta mucho. Mm. Haga algo bien simple, bien sencillo. Usted va caminando en la calle o va en el, no sé si usted um, maneja o, o, o toma no, no. autobús. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Va entonces en el autobús y está sentada, está haciendo nada. Póngase a ver la... ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? Normalmente siempre vemos afuera la ventana y estamos viendo nada y estamos viendo pasar los carros. Póngase a practicar decir en su cabeza la, 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 las placas de los carros. Uh -huh. trate de, de, de decir ah, tal, tal, tal número dígaselo, uh -huh. y también obviamente le, le va a ayudar ahí ca, también con, con las letras ¿verdad? Uh -huh. números y letras al mismo tiempo sí. ok, entonces okay. vaya repasando en su cabeza eso lo, de hecho lo hacemos sí. inconscientemente vamos uh -huh. eh, viendo algo y pensando cosas, trate de ahora hacer eso mismo pero en inglés uh -huh. ok uh -huh. ok, gracias teacher. Uh -huh. you're welcome perfecto Muchas ¿Algún, gracias. De nada. ¿Alguna otra cosa con la que le puedo ayudar? Uh, no, creo que hasta ahí, teacher. Vamos a seguir practicando y pues gracias por los consejos. You're welcome. Ha sido gracias. un placer. Diana, cualquier gracias. cosa que usted necesita, solo escríbame, ella sea directo o en el grupo de WhatsApp y yo voy a tratar de, de, de ayudarle cuanto antes. Muchas gracias. Ok, de nada. Cuídese uh -huh. mucho. Gracias. Pues, buenas noches. Gracias, buenas noches. Buenas noches.